Hello and welcome. I'd like to go over how to create a personal list of documentation note types in Cerner. A personal list is helpful because the list of available note types is very long. You can easily narrow the list to just the note types you use regularly and modify that list at any time. The process of creating a personal list is very simple and should only take a couple of minutes. So let's get started. If we open up a chart and we find ourselves on the dashboard, you can navigate over to the Physician Documentation tab. Here you will notice a list of favorite uh, note templates, and also you'll see the note type um, that has a filter. You'll notice that the note type uh, filter is set to all um, at this point. If we look at the list of available note types, we'll notice this is a very long list. And so if we're looking for a specific note type that we would like to use, um, it would be very difficult to find it um, very quickly. You'll also notice that there is a filter set to position. This does uh, narrow the list down quite a bit um, based off of um, preset uh, filters um, that were set at the creation of uh, the build of the EHR. Um, however, what we wanna do is we wanna create a personal list that has just the note types that we want to use ourselves. The best way to do that is to navigate up to the list of drop list menus up at the top of the screen, and you'll notice that there is a menu called View. If you navigate down to Customize, you'll see a pop-up window that, that comes um, to the center of the screen. The first thing you'll notice is that there is a default note type. You can select this default note type, which will essentially default to that particular note for uh, any uh, notes automatically um, that you're creating. You'll also notice the entire list of available note types on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side is the personal note type list that you can create. This may be empty for many of you, and so you'll have to go through and select the notes that you wanna migrate over and add to that personal note type list. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna add two note types um, to my list. The first one I'm going to add is the confidential clinic note. You'll notice that I just clicked one note but not double click. And if I type the letter C, that will take me down to the list of notes that begin with the letter C. And by navigating down, I'll find the confidential clinic note and select just the arrow um, without the uh, front slash. And that will bring that note over to my list. The next note that I'd like to bring over is a progress note physician. And so I can also type the letter P to go down to the list of note types that begin with the letter P. Find the appropriate note that I want to add to my personal list and migrate that uh, note type over. Once I've created my list and I'm happy with uh, where it is, I can also select a default list a default note type uh, that will um, automatically default to that particular note type. I am happy with the office clinic note position, so I'll leave that where it is. Click the apply button and then click okay. And once I've done that, um, then um, I can go to my personal list and I'll see my narrowed list exactly um, where I want it. I can then open my note and continue with my documentation. This concludes the tutorial on how to create a personal list of documentation note types in Cerner. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.